Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the beautiful, over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times, it is 75 degrees here in the Finger Lakes of New York on Thursday, July, June 24th. June 24th, it is 75 degrees, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm sitting here listening to NPR, you know, talk about the biggest story on the planet, obviously, in the minds of NPR. I already went over the uh, biggest story on the planet, according to Yahoo News, uh, which is the, you know, the uh, imminent collapse of planet Earth. You can find that over at Collapse Chronicles, but apparently NPR, at least what I've heard of it today, not mentioning that, possibly because they're doing this long involved story on the Britney Spears. Britney Spears, I, I guess she's suing her own father or something. And uh, I just want to send out a big thank you, uh, amen, brother, uh, I don't know what her father's name is, Jamie, I think. Uh, I think his name is Jamie, but Jamie Spears, you got the, uh, you got the Hambone uh, Golden Apple Award today. Apparently, if I understand this right, uh, Britney Spears, she's a 39-year-old woman. Uh, I thought Britney Spears was going to be 12 until the day she died, but somehow Britney Spears is now 39 years old, and I guess she has an IUD uh, rammed up inside her female plumbing, and this 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 makes absolutely no sense to me although I'm thrilled to hear it her father the father of this 39 year old superstar somehow has the power to make his daughter keep that goddamn IUD uh, in her she cannot take the IUD out she uh, she cannot get married and more importantly she is her father will not allow her to get pregnant and give him uh, grandchildren I guess I, I have no fucking clue uh, what that is about but I don't care what it's about if uh, Britney Spears father has the power to uh, make his 39 year old daughter who has absolutely no fucking business on any fucking level uh, bringing a child onto this planet. If that man uh, can keep his clueless fucking moron daughter uh, from breeding, uh, hallelujah, more power to him. I, I wish every father on the fucking planet could uh, make uh, his own daughter uh, wear an IUD. Uh, this, this, this is absolutely absurd uh, that a 39 year old woman uh, cannot yank this IUD out of her guts. Uh, but thank God uh, for the uh, for the US court system. Uh, from keeping Britney Spears from breeding. Oh my God, that's all we fucking need it is a little uh, <coughs> genetic uh, carbon copy of Britney Spears being born onto this fucking planet in the year, well, I guess the year 2022 is when the little bundle of joy my guess is, uh, my, my prediction of course, is that she is going to win this court case and uh, she's going to be allowed to rip that thing out of her guts and that sometime, I don't know, when, the, when this clueless moron is either 40 or 41 years old, she is going to uh, bring a kid onto this planet. 
we wonder why we are so fucked. But uh, I am heading to the uh, sand and gravel pit is where I'm going now uh, to, you know, this giant uh, planet-eating pit. They, they service the frackers down there in Pennsylvania. It's what they are, even though we're in New York, this place, it services the fracking industry in Pennsylvania, which is only 10 miles from here. And, uh, but they let, you know, local residents come by and get some of that fracking sand. So uh, I am taking advantage of the fracking supply open pit mine three miles from my house so uh, I can uh, dump some sand into my septic system. I am now, this will bring me right up to $800. So this is the final chapter. Uh, so $800 out of my pocket. I don't know how many days of work getting ready to bust my ass again, shoveling about a ton of fucking sand from the back of my truck, uh, literally down this fucking hole in my yard uh, so I can take a shit in my own house. An $800 shit. E even though we got our toilet back yesterday, I mean, the septic test was working, and I still went and, and enjoyed my plastic bucket this morning. It was very pleasant. Uh, it's beautiful walk, just in a beautiful view to sit there on my throne. Uh, you know, I paid $800 to be able to take a dump in my own house, and I'm probably still going to be using the goddamn uh, plastic bucket. Let's all poop in a bucket. You can, uh, you can find uh, my buddy uh, Frank Meyer with me on harmonica somewhere on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Frank singing, let's all poop in a bucket. And I'm thinking that Frank Meyer might poop in a bucket. I uh, can't remember if Frank and Elena pooping buckets or not. Anyway, get out there and poop in a bucket while you still can. Heading to 90 degrees here in a couple of days, so I'm going to enjoy this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous weather before the summer heat gets here in two days. Bye guys. Where is this uh well where is this damn sand pit? I've had a, a video of this sand pit. Should be coming up to the sand pit any second now. Where the hell is the sand pit? Have they moved to the sand pit? the cornfields. Cornfields coming up. All right. But we're going to Planet Eating Central. Good Lord. Look at all of this good fracking supply. Sand and gravel. All right. We got two fracking supply trucks coming toward me now. Get out there and support those frackers while you still can. Bye guys.